What's up friends? It's Brett from Plutone and today we're having a bit of fun with the Court KX508 and the all new transposer feature on the Gojira X plugin from Neural DSP. I hope y'all enjoy. So this past weekend I finally found a bit of time to download the Gojira X update for the Neural DSP Gojira plugin. As you guys have heard me mention in previous videos, the Gojira plugin has been my go-to for a while now, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that they added a transpose feature on the Gojira X. This feature was uh, originally on the Petrucci plugin and it seems like they are adding it to all of their second edition plugins including the Pliny X as well and uh, I tried this out for the first time this weekend having never used a transposer setting before and let me tell you it is one of the coolest features I have ever used on a plugin so let's jump right in and I'll give a little breakdown of this feature and then you can listen to a little riff that I wrote with this Gojira X transpose feature. I will see you there in just a bit. So you can see that below the transpose dial there is a number and then the letters ST and that just stands for steps. So we have the option now of tuning down 12 steps or tuning up 12 steps, so a whole octave. So for this video, I have my 8-string guitar tuned to drop E, and with the transposer set to 4 steps down, that comes out to C at 32 hertz. And before any of y'all ask, yes, technically I could just drop the tuning on my guitar further to C at 32 hertz. However, that would require an entirely new set of string gauges, thicker strings to make up for the lack of tension. And I already play with a very low action and a fairly loose eighth string in drop E. And so I don't really want to mess with all of that. I don't want to have to you know, set up new strings and reset the action and everything like that. So I really love the transpose feature because it just makes it so much easier um, and it sounds very natural and you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. I found that drop C on my H string was kind of the sweet spot, at least to my ear. It was super heavy sounding, really wicked, but still articulate and you can hear a lot of the definition in the notes even with the gain cranked up as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to that part of the video. I hope you all enjoy the riff and let me know what you think in the comments. Alright y'all, well that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to go check out Gojira X or any of Neural DSP's other amazing plugins. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to be here with me and to listen to me talk about gear and write mediocre riffs. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. Uh, it really means a lot to me and will help this channel improve in the future. If you like this video enough, please don't hesitate to throw me a like or possibly a subscribe. That really helps this channel as well and will also help fellow guitarists discover this content and hopefully a bit of inspiration along with it. If you are looking to write riffs like this of your very own and you're in need of an awesome 8-string guitar, please feel free to go to the website and check out the Court KX508. I love Cork. I have multiple Cork guitars. I'm an avid fan and collector. I think they're excellent instruments and the specs you get are really, really incredible. Um, as you can tell, they sound amazing and they play super smooth. If you have any questions about Cork guitars or this specific Cork guitar, the KX508, don't hesitate to reach out to me and we can chat. Um, 
thank you again for being here and taking the time out of your day, and I will catch you on the next video. Cheers.